Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process of how to create the straight track piece for the model train unit on Autodesk Inventor, which is part of uh, Project Lead the Ways curriculum and for the class Introduction to Engineering Design. Before we begin, a couple of important notes. First of all, make sure that every single sketch that you create in Autodesk Inventor is fully constrained. If you fail to do this, if you don't constrain things and lock things down into place, then whenever you go to do things in 3D mode later on, after finishing sketches, you're going to find out that you have huge issues. You won't know what's going on or why they won't work, but stuff just won't work. Another thing that we've learned over time is that you need to keep your sketches simple. So you're going to see me do things like fillets, chamfers, so on and so forth in 3D mode instead of within the actual sketches. So I will finish sketches and then do the fillets and, and chamfers afterward. And just remember, whenever you're watching this video, that there are many correct methods of creating 3D models on Autodesk Inventor. So what you're going to see in this video is only one way to do it. The idea is that you become more independent anyway and you're able to do this stuff without any help at all. So if you find a different method of creating the exact same part, then good for you. That's great. Let's get going. First step, let's just draw a basic outline of the top surface. So here's the rectangle. You'll need to use your dimension sheet to get it dimensioned correctly. After you do this, then you'll want to extrude it. Very simple. Now, the next step that I chose to do was to draw on the left surface right here and create a new sketch and whenever I did that I added in the rectangles. I used a mixture of uh, projecting geometry to get this green outline of the overall rectangle and I used a lot of geometric constraints things like I horizontally constrained this line to this line for instance and lots of equal constraints and I used a few dimensions like you can see here to get the placement and the shape and the size of the rectangles to be correct. Just make sure they're fully constrained. When you get to that point then it's a matter of a simple extrude cut to create those grooves on top of the straight track. Now I want you to also notice that I could have drawn on the top surface, I could have drawn these long skinny rectangles right here and right here, and that would have been just as easy to extrude them downward. Once we have that in place, then the idea is I'm going to create the circular piece that sticks off the left hand side. Fully constrain it, make sure that you have, a, I, I used a mixture of a rectangle and a circle and then I cut off the end of the rectangle. As long as it's fully constrained you're fine. There is no need to trim out the interior lines. Once you have that then it's a matter of extruding and then after you extrude go through and fill it to the correct radius this edge here and its counterpart on the opposite side. Now once you're done with that then you're going to flip over to the other side and you're going to create the circular cutout. Be careful whenever you do this the dimensions are slightly different so it's a slightly different size uh, circle because the circular cutout's got to fit inside of this from the other side, right, when I put tracks together. And it's the same process. Make sure you have the sketch fully constrained, which is the left picture. Then go through and do the extrude cut all the way through. And then, at the end, fill it. Once you get that done, the straight track is completed. Congratulations. 